This video will teach you how to solve text problems by using the rule of three or cross multiplication. So first of all, take a look at your text problem and rewrite it the following way. You know the values A, B and C. So A, B and C are known from your text problem. And the task is to find the unknown value x. I will show you an example now, so you know how this should look like. Three apples are six dollars, and you want to know how much four apples will cost. So this value here, three, is a. This value, six, is b. That value here, four, is c. And this here is the unknown value you want to find. So you want to find the value x, so the money you need to buy four apples. After you have rewritten your problem the following way, you have to check something. Just ask yourself the following. If I double this value here, the value a, so if I double the value a, Will the right value increase or decrease? If the answer is increase, so if I double this value a and the right value increases, then the unknown value x is given by this formula here. So you have to multiply b and c. So b times c and then divide the result b times c by a. So b times c divided by a. If the answer to this question here is decrease, the unknown value x is given by this formula here. So you have to divide b by c, so b divided by c, and then multiply the result with a, so b divided by c times a, b divided by c times a. Let's take a look at our example again, so you will see what I mean with this question here. So this here is our example. So the first thing I have to do now is to ask myself, if I increase or double the amount of apples, so this left value here, will the right value, so the money I have to spend, increase or decrease? So if I double the amount of apples, will the money I have to spend increase or decrease? It will increase, because the more apples I buy, the more money I have to spend. So if I double the amount of apples I buy, I have to pay more money. So the right value here will increase. So we are here. So the unknown value x is given by this formula here. Because the more apples I buy, the more money I have to spend. So this is the formula we need now. So we have to calculate b times c divided by a. So first of all we have to multiply this value here and that value here. So 6 times 4 which is b times c which I have done here. So b times c is equal to 6 times 4, which is equal to 24. To get the unknown value x, so this value here, we have to divide this value here by a. So 24 divided by 3, and 3 is a, which results in 8. So we have found our unknown value x which means 
that four apples will cost eight dollar. Yes, I know, this is pretty expensive for apples. You should probably buy your apples somewhere else. Ok, let's take a look at another example. So now we have this here. Let's assume two workers need three hours to finish some kind of a job. We want to know how much time three workers uh, will need to finish the same job. So two workers need three hours for a job. We want to know how much time three workers will need. So first of all we have to ask ourselves again. If we double the amount of workers, so this left value here, A, will this right number here, which describes the time they need to finish their work, increase or decrease? So if we double the amount of workers, will the time they need to finish their job increase or decrease? It will decrease, because the more workers we have, the faster the job will be done. So if we double the amount of workers, the work will be done faster, which means the right value decrease. Therefore, we are here. So the formula to calculate x is given by this here, which you can also see here. So the more workers we have, the faster the work will be done. So this right value will decrease and the formula is given by this here. Let's calculate the unknown value x by inserting the values for b, c and a. So first of all we calculate b divided by c. So which means we have to calculate 3 divided by 3, which I have done here. So b divided by c is 3 divided by 3. So 3 divided by 3, which is 1. The next thing we have to do is to multiply this value here, 1, with a. So to get to x, we have to calculate b divided by c times a. We already know what b divided by c is. It's 1. And we have to calculate, or we have to multiply 1 with 2. So 1 times 2. So this here is the value a, 2. And we get 2. So x is equal to 2. Which means when two workers need three hours to get the job done, three workers need two hours for the same job. Now you should know how to solve text problems by using the rule of three. I will summarize the results again. So the first thing you have to do is to read your text problem and write it down the following way where you know the values a, b, c and you want to find the unknown value x. Then you have to ask yourself, when I double this number here, will the right number increase or decrease? If it increases, x is given by the following formula. So you just have to insert for b, c and a. If it decreases, x is given by the following formula. So again, you just have to insert for the values b, c and a. I hope this video could show you that it's not that difficult at all to solve text problems by using the rule of three. The most important part is to check what happens when doubling this value on the left here. So to ask yourself this question here. If I double A, will the right value increase or decrease? All the rest 
is just inserting in a formula.